Well, welcome back to Hope Harbor, everyone. I hope you all are having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back over here for another kind of overview video. Uh, I really haven't been doing too many speed builds. I have one that's in the works, uh, but for now, Hope Harbor has just been me going in, doing one thing, and then kind of popping back out. Uh, it's been kind of fun doing that, but recently, this is something that I've been working on. Uh, just in the aquarium at least we're gonna pop over to the mainland in just a little bit but i did want to show off our polar area so i'm not sold on the name this font set is by i believe ricey uh so you can see it's very nice and blue but it's this weird thing with the lighting that turns it red i really don't know what's going on over there i think that's kind of cool though uh let me just see if if i like kind of take out the color in here if it will go back yeah okay cool so let's just keep it like that okay so this is our polar area uh i believe you guys might remember our puffin exhibit from before again these puffins made by drac are a little bit too big a little bit too big for what i wanted but i still think they work pretty well so we in here we have i believe the puffins and the ox uh I, no the razor bills not the ox um so those guys are just chilling in there but I've been working on this little exhibit. This is going to be for our penguins. Uh, keep in mind, it's not really usable right now. Uh, obviously, if you pop down here, you can see that the water does get a little glitchy. And I got to actually remove it from here. I've been kind of like doing on and off work in here. Just trying to make sure that everything works well. But yeah, that's kind of how we have it set up so far. So we currently only have, I believe, Gen 2 penguins. And we already have a pair of those breeding, so that's awesome. Uh, but right now, that's kind of what we have so far. And I don't know. I really want to work on this just very nice and intricately as time goes on. But right now, it's just kind of playing around with the layout, just making sure that I like everything as I kind of make my way throughout here. So I don't really know. But that's kind of what we have for the penguins so far, and I did some small stuff throughout here. We got some recent additions, like the Western Toad I was able to secure. Uh, so that was a really fun addition. Uh, I've had a few fish that I've gotten over kind of time, uh, just kind of throwing them wherever they need to go, so I don't know. Uh, but we're actually going to pop over to the mainland because that's where we've been doing the most amount of work. So I'll tell you what, I'll stop right here and I'll see you guys right over there. Alright guys, welcome back to the island. It's very nice to have you all here. Uh, yeah, we really haven't been doing too much in here. Uh, at least in the front area. So I did get a few things recently. And you can see that this is kind of like the Discovery Building. So I found this really cool ant statue on the workshop. And if you come in here, you should be able to see a few new exhibits. These are Indian Pond Terrapins. We got those from Kaze no Tani Aquarium. I'm trying to think of other places. These are Honeypot Ants. Uh, these guys came to us from the domestic store. I will eventually upgrade their habitat a little bit more to have, like, you know, a little bit more interactivity in here because I want this to be a really fun kind of room. Uh, but that's going to be something we'll work on in a little bit. Our marbled salamanders in here. I love these guys. They're so cool. Uh, eventually, I do want to go through and do all custom signage, like with billboards and stuff. But, I don't know, I really gotta focus on getting the time to do that. Uh, but making our way throughout here, maybe I'll do that when I'm kind of like away. I think that might actually work out pretty good. But making our way throughout here, we really haven't been doing too much in the front areas. And again, I still need to finish up the restaurant. It's kind of just sitting here, not really doing anything, but eventually I will fix that up. But nothing's really been happening up at the front. It's been relatively the same as time goes on. And I really do like this open space over here. Just like the kind of large amount of nothingness until you reach these exhibits. Then it's like bang, 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 bang. Uh, I kind of like that in a way. I do want to kind of dress up this area a little bit more. Uh, maybe if we could get some butterflies in Hope Harbor Zoo, that'd be really fun. But, yeah, nothing really in terms of change. I did add a few exhibits in here, so you could come back here. You could see I got some red tegus back over here. 
Uh, again, not really made into a prop yet, not really an animal yet, but what can you do? We got some emerald tree boas, so this is their little terrarium back here. Uh, but that's it for South America, really. Uh, but what really got changed is, and I guess we could pop over here. These are the small additions first. So in light with the Christmas season, uh, I was kind of like, I got some reindeers. And I was like, hmm. I want to kind of use these guys for the best. So I kind of made this little Santa's Village inspired area. So ideally, we're going to have reindeer in here. And I'm not sure what else we could have in here that's like Arctic themed. Maybe we could have like Arctic Fox right over here. But I do want this to be kind of like a kid's experience. Kind of like, you know, the parents bring the kids over here. They kind of make their way through like the... Uh, the night before Christmas signs and stuff like that. I'm not sure if you guys have ever been to like, you know, like little Christmas events or stuff, but they have those on like the signs with like little pictures. They come meet Santa Gorilla over here. They could work with like a staff member to write their letters to Santa. Come through here. They can come out to the reindeer barn. They could see like the little reindeers over here. We have three of them and I absolutely love them, uh, but they come over here deliver their message to Santa, and that's really it. I don't know, I just thought that was a cute little idea. But that's it for additions over there. Uh, I'm trying to think, because right now we have 99% of our species on display. I just need a build for the Siamangs, so I'll be doing that relatively soon. I think after I record this, but you can see over here we have our dwarf crocodile exhibit. Again, nothing too intense. Uh, just wanted to really give this building a little bit more use, and I kind of like it for that. Because you come in here for the giraffes predominantly, but you also have all this area to check out what other animals we have in here, which I think is kind of funky. So if we pop back over here and make our way to Moose Town, Maine, we've had a few additions, so I believe we can check out these over here. Big shout out to Mocha Berry for allowing me the chance to house these animals. Uh, the first one up here is going to be the American Woodcock. It's a really, really funny looking bird, and I'm super excited to get these guys. Just a really awesome animal, and I found these really cool aviaries on the workshop. So when you come over here and check out the Porcupine Indoor, you could also turn right around and you could see that the Woodcock aviaries are right there. We only have a male one for now, but they have a lot of vertical space, which is what the males would really need. Uh, pop in over here too. Uh, excuse the lack of no doors over here, but I do have spotted skunk. So eastern spotted skunk. And again, this whole area is really animals that are found in or around Maine or previously found in Maine. So I'll be working on that a little bit more, but you can see that this is a nice little exhibit for our skunks. Uh, it's about the same size, if not a little bit bigger, than the Bronx Zoo skunk exhibit. So, I don't know, I just really like that, it's just super fun. Plus, all the flowers in here, I don't know, I always like when skunk exhibits have flowers, I think it's always so cute. But, yeah, kind of making our way over to Island of Color, this is where the big changes came in. So, this I'm not going to show off too well, that's our emu exhibit, and I will show that off in its own video, that's getting a speed build. But if you pop over here, and I'm not going to show off anything inside of here, this is all getting reworked anyways, so I just wanted to um, kind of address that. But again, we saw the tigers in the last video, I believe, uh, but if we haven't, they have a really nice overview right over here. So you could see that, you know, they have a nice unobstructed view. And again, really awesome anti-climbing uh mesh up there so that's cool and then you can see the tigers actually exploring their exhibit it's nothing really too crazy um i really wanted to go a little bit more in detail with the india theming but i will do that kind of eventually i'm not really too sold on this exhibit so far but once i do get a little bit more confident in it once i kind of nailed down a style of the sumatra area i will kind of go a little bit more ham with that uh, this is going to be our indoor area. So again, we have the squirrels in here. I was able to get some beautiful frogs from Tiger Drake. Uh, I believe these are the mossy frogs. I'm not sure. Fire-bellied toad. Those are what those are. 
Uh, big shout out to Tiger Drake for those. But yeah, I'm going to have this little kind of uh, outrigger canoe. I believe that's what it's called right in the front of this habitat. Not habitat, but building. It's kind of going to be a um, small house, like small animal house, plus like um, maybe a couple aquariums in here if I feel inclined to. But yeah, as we make our way in here, we actually get to see our coconut crabs. Super excited about these guys. So these guys actually came to us from the Christmas event. So that was very fun to get these really awesome animals. I'm the first holder of them in ZSU. So that is just very great to see. So, <laughs> I don't know. I really wanted to give them a really nice and big exhibit. We only have one. His name is Korok, and he is my son. But, yeah, they have a really good exhibit over here. Uh, and I don't think I really did anything else for these exhibits. Again, squirrels and frogs and of course we have the bats in there so that's kind of cool uh but what really came to be is the tapir and binturong exhibit i really do like this so i wanted this to be like a river's edge kind of area and you could see that the binturongs have a lot of climbing space they could kind of climb all over this habitat i gotta add some anti-climbing to the tops of these trees over here because you can see that they're kind of making their way all the way up there which is it's not really ideal, but you know what? They can go and explore that for now because you know what? This is enrichment for them. But we do have two Malayan tape here, so you guys can read the little thing that's coming up on the screen right now about them because, of course, I always do like to name my animals whenever I do get the chance to. But you can see we're continuing the molding throughout here. I really do like the molding of the Island of Color. I think that is really fun to work with as well so that's just very fun just to see like all the colors come into be so like we have the blues we have all those really colorful kind of little info dots right there and we have that beautiful red down there i don't know really do like building an island of color because it's always so fun it's always so dynamic uh right over here connected to their little holding back over here uh i have areas for our bird area so this is going to be our little aviary and whatnot uh right now uh this is kind of what it looks like uh, i have like this beautiful beautiful kind of waterfowl aviary uh but eventually i do want to fix it up a little bit because it is a little boring uh but no i just have been working a little bit on this i have this little japan section over here so i believe i do have japanese quail which I think is pretty fun because we did this little Japanese inspired exhibit. I don't know, I just really did like that. And again, we have our Kias in here doing their little Kia thing. And I also have like the big aviary over here where you have like all the colorful birds kind of flying around. But for the most part, that is pretty much Island of Color except for Fishing Cat. So you have this really lovely view into their habitat from down here. Uh, so you can see it gives you a nice little bit of perspective, but you also have an alternative uh, viewing up here as well. I was really inspired by National Zoo's kind of a fish and cat enclosure, so I was pretty happy with that. And again, I would have this netted, but it's just a lot of work to actually do custom netting, so I kind of imply it like that. What else I do as well, I also made a sun bear enclosure. Um... I know, I'm pretty happy with this one. It's pretty big. It's uh, pretty expansive, just what I want for these guys. And they also have enough holding room back here. I think I do want to extend this building a little bit while I'm in here. Uh, just give them all the room that they would really need. Because keep in mind, it gets pretty cold in Maine sometimes. So I want to make sure that they have enough indoor area whenever it does come to, uh, whenever it does come to necessities for these guys. Plus that, plus that building back there will also serve a purpose for also giving some other animals, you know, housing and stuff. So if I do end up getting orangutans, they would probably go right there or maybe around there. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but Siaminks are going right here. I got to work on those guys next. But that's really it for Hope Harbor. I know it's nothing really too crazy, but I did just want to give us kind of like a quick little overview. Just show you guys what I've been working on. I'm super proud of this exhibit over here. It turned out so cool. But I think that's where we'll end it, my friends. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, apologies if I don't have a lot of videos in the next coming days. 
it's been a little bit of a whirlwind over here, but... You know, I'm just trying to get my footing once again, so thank you all for stopping by. If you'd enjoy it, I don't care what you guys do. I just hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Have the most wonderful of wonderful days, and I can't wait to see you all in the next episode. Take care, and bye bye